Uh, I don't I don't want to spend too much time talking about one thing. Uh, Death Stranding, Danny. <laughs> I'm gonna hear some shit about this. <laughs> Death Stranding. So they uh, Kojima released a teaser trailer for a <laughs> Death Stranding's director's cut. All right, I'm ahead. I shook my <laughs> I shook my head so hard when I heard about this, and then I actually watched it just to see what the fuck this was about. And it's literally just Norman Reedus playing with a box for the most part. And then he jumps in, in it and then jumps out of it. And that's it. Like, that's all it is. And it's just titled Death Stranding Director's Cut. And I'm thinking to myself, no one needs this. Like, even even fans, actual fans of Death Stranding don't need this. Like, Kojima had did enough with this game. It's a, it's a It really is a one-and-done type of thing. I... Never have I heard that people are like itching for a fucking Snyder Snyder cut of of Death Stranding. It's bullshit. So, so we're not going to talk about the extra trailer itself. But you this, know, this is, goes these, on, these, this goes right on par with the director's cut of Mario, of the, the Mario and Luigi. What? Oh, 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 John Leguizamo. They wanted yes, they wanted to release. Like, why would you want to release a director's cut version of a movie that's horrible? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, 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 why would you so, want to release a director's cut of a game that's horrible? So the game itself isn't isn't what I want to discuss right. exactly. Okay. So oh, okay. I, I really don't want to get into it because it's it's not it's not worth talking about it. We we've already talked about it before, and it's it's, we it's right, so keep it well, yeah. Uh, but uh, so I feel like. Kojima is doing this to throw people off because we've known Kojima to really like throw like weird or fake trailers yeah. okay. to announce something completely different. So what do you what are your guys' thoughts that maybe this is like some red herring or something to throw you off thinking that this is what he's working on when like later on he'll surprise us with like the real game that he's working on? I think it's stupid. I think the, it's really stupid. I think the trailer? The, no, or the I idea. Think if, the idea behind that is uh-huh. stupid. Because if that is true, let's say he's doing that as maybe as even a joke for him, knowing you guys don't really like this game that much, it's a director's cut. And you're right, it could be. You know what? It could be him making fun of director's cut because Zack Snyder put a long movie and then they made a director's cut. It's kind of what made it famous right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, a really longer fucking boring movie, right? So it could be a joke or a nod towards that. Like, look, we have Death Stranding. You guys said it was long and boring. And I have a director. That's a good point. Longer. So it could be a it could be a joke towards that. Yeah. And in reality, he does have something else planned, and he just wanted to throw this out as like just to mess with people a little bit. Mm-hmm. But Anybody else? If it is true, like you said, that he is doing as a red herring, I think that would be a bad idea because of the fact that this game wasn't very. I don't think it really lived up to the expectations of what they wanted it to be. It doesn't have to, like, though. That's the thing. And and even more so, it's even more of a prank because it didn't live up to people's expectations. And people are just like, like what no, the no, fuck no, are you doing? No, no, Why no, no, are you working on no, this no. game? That's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Okay, look. That's what I'm saying. Is because it would be a bad... Let's say, let's say this is real. Let's say he is... Or let's say it's a red hair and he's going to promote something. I think it'd be a bad idea because people were disappointed with what the final product was. They liked what they liked it or didn't whatever, it didn't matter. But they were disappointed because they wanted the next Metal Gear, right? That's what that's what they all wanted. And they wanted a fucking trilogy off of it and all this bullshit. They didn't get that. And then they're a little disappointed. So instead of going, okay, look, this I know I might have failed and I'm making a joke out of it, I think he should be going, look, this is what my new project is going to be and you guys are going to fucking live and love it even more. I guarantee <laughs> you. Look, let me give you actual footage of my new, pro- a new project that I'm working on and that I have your passion for and then let us get excited for that not this weird Kevin team. Kevin why are you laughing because uh, <laughs> I was scared of just going back to the same argument from before I was, <laughs> I was so I well, the, 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 the part that got me heated again. the part that got me heated about that wasn't even about the game itself it was about the whole journalism aspect of it but uh but what what it are your true too. what are your thoughts of 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 the uh of the trailer um, I find it funny because it's like a jab at um, a, uh, director's cuts in general, like it, it, the whole idea of it. And um, at first, I didn't know it was a Death Stranded trailer till like I was watching it. Like I had to be, I was at work watching uh, the the summer festival, and I was looking at it like, huh, I think this is a joke. <laughs> I was I was thinking and hoping it's a joke, <laughs> and I was like, you know what? 
maybe it is. Maybe somebody knows, or uh, maybe somebody's in on the joke that I don't know. Um, <laughs> but then, and somewhere in there, I was like, I need to see a pizza. <laughs> I need him to fill this joke in like a, a pizza. pizza pot. Like a pizza pot, and then pizza. just like fill the that joke up, and I was, <clears throat> yeah, that was, I, I would have just been, like, I would have been like, I was like, all right, so he definitely, he's in on it or something. Like, <laughs> it, it, it was something about that that did not feel like it didn't feel honest. I was like, this is not a true block string. I don't think this is real, or if yeah. it, it is real, it probably is like a, a red herring to something else. Like, I wish that uh, Kojima can still throw out the Metal Gear series, and we can get like a Revengeance two, even though the game wasn't, mm. as, it wasn't as his, good as it, it wasn't was. his game either. Yeah, I know that. That's what I'm saying. Like, I wish, I wish he can get the like, the title to just make the sequel to it. Mm-hmm. Like, even if it's even uh, even so, but who knows? It could be something like, just as good as. I don't think it's gonna be just as good as Metal Gear, but I think it. it I hope it's something that it's, is, and he enjoys. Not well, as the a, the rumors. The, and mind you, these are rumors, but the rumors are um, that he has been working on a horror game. Even so, because so, because at first people were saying, "Oh, he's working on a horror game. He's got to be working on the actual Silent Hills," but that still involves Konami, and Konami is not interested in working with him, or he's not working interested with them. Who knows? <laughs> still, so um, it, it's not Silent Hill. It's got to be his own horror thing, because but he what? still wanted to work with Benicio de Toro as well. And there is mm-hmm. also rumors that he's working with him, but he's been staying quiet about it. So, again, grain oh. of salt. So. Mm-hmm. But you, you know, it's funny with, uh, with things that we, uh, uh, well, I, I don't know if he, he doesn't want to work with them. Like that's confirmed. Did I say Benicio de Toro? I mean, Guillermo yeah. de Toro. Yeah. I was thinking like, I was thinking, I was thinking I, I think that, uh, that PT with Benicio de Toro would be something very different. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, would. Uh, Randy, what'd you think of the trailer or the idea? I don't, I don't. For one, I just saw the, the, like, what is it, the thumbnail for it, so I sent it to you. Yeah. I didn't watch it. I was watching okay. uh, Metal Sonic Tactics. You instead. didn't miss anything. No, I, I know I didn't miss anything, yeah. so that's why I didn't want to watch it. <laughs> like I said, did Metal Sonic Tactics. Did you play? That, that, that I'm more excited for. Yeah, I, I saw that, did actually. Did you play the, the Death Stranding? What happened? Did you play did Death you Stranding? Play Death Stranding? No, I didn't, but I, I didn't want to because it didn't catch my attention. Hey, guess what? You didn't miss anything. <laughs> you better man for it. <laughs> and there was believe me there was a lot of like people like really really sucking that fucking game off they were like oh this is like a really fucking yeah. good game it's, it's an artistic masterpiece blah blah, mm. blah. You, you don't understand because you didn't play i don't need to understand because <laughs> even though kojima has a very like grand spectrum of storytelling most of the time it's pretty incoherent Death yeah. Stranding being the first game of this series, if it is a series, the story is coherent. I didn't expect that from it. Is it? The story is very coherent. It's very. It's not convoluted like Metal Gear is, but um, but the the problem is that there's no game. That's the problem. Yeah. Like it, you can't. It, it cannot be a, an artful masterpiece if you can't. If there's nothing to play. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're you're what so all you're what? doing. All it is is an, is an adventure game. That's all it is. Now what if? Right, this mm-hmm. is never gonna happen. What if the director's cut? Right, he's serious about the director's cut. He turned it into an game, action game, and, and it's fucking <laughs> Returnal, like Returnal meets fucking Death Stranding. Returnal, I'd play it. You know what I mean? Like that. I'd give it a chance. Right? Like you know what? Fuck you. you want action? Here it is. Damn. Mm-hmm. Maybe. I I I, I doubt it. I play it. Mm-hmm. I would play that. I doubt it. <laughs> that's that's very wishful thinking, but uh, all it's right. Not, so, not not, but, uh, so 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 that's it for that. We'll just we'll leave it at that because this is just a funny a funny thing that he just did. I can't believe he'd made that trailer, but um. Yeah, can we actually talk about Metal Slug Tactics though? Uh, Wait, this was this Metal Slug Tactics. Yeah, yeah. So so very briefly, yes. Uh, I I was I was actually pretty uh, intrigued by that because I'm a big Metal Slug fan for the art, like original arcades. Yeah, so and and then like the fact that it's still in the art style of like metal metal slug but with the tactics look like it it looked cool. The the whole grid based uh, RPG thing. Yeah. Also, um, I'm gonna send you a link later on to. Um, an anniversary collection thing for Metal Slug. Okay. So remind me. Afterwards. Okay. Okay. I want. Cool, cool. I want to. Kevin. I'll, I'll, oh, I'll, okay. put, I'll put it in chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But so, so you're excited about it? Oh hell yeah, dude! The the trailer was really cute. The art style was amazing. 
and really even like Aww. even how simplistic the what 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 <laughs> why did you take offense when he just said that what <laughs> sorry he did let, 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 let me let me say it's cute because it was adorable i'm sorry but to see everything like back in its old snk like kind of doodles i yeah. I, I loved it um yeah, i'm interested I, I in, like, too, i'm not gonna lie I, I, I yeah. i'm the same way dude oh. it, it, it looks amazing yeah. but um uh, with the grid-based RPGs, I've I've only found a handful that like interest me. Like to be quite honest, Final Fantasy Tactics isn't one that I would go for. Um, one that I have mentioned before for the PSP, um, being Jean d'Arc, that one was really fun because mm. it's uh, you know an anime version of fucking Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc, like, yeah. What, what's not to love? Yeah. So um, now that it's Metal Slug meets grid-based RPG, yes, please. And I know <laughs> that also um, isn't uh, Disgaea, Disgaea, um, Disgaea. Yeah, yeah. I, the sky is the only one I really liked. The yeah, first, I, have, I haven't played yeah. any of them, honestly. Yeah, they're, they're really good. The, the problem with Final Fantasy Tactics I is haven't. fucking hard. It's way <laughs> yeah. too hard. It's, it's it put me off on Tactics games for a long time. Yeah, because it's, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's overcomplicated. They, they, they overcomplicated it with, the, you know, creating the summoner and all the crazy shit. It's fun. I mean, it's unique if you think about it a little bit. But mm -hmm. it's just way too many classes and things, and they throw too much shit. It becomes way too fucking hard, and it, it throws you off. But the sky was a very nice balance, and it was that was really fun. Okay, the story needed a little more, like, but long as shit for no reason. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, they, they, that they every one of those battles is like a fucking hour long. So, <laughs> yeah. What'd you say, Kevin? I know. Uh, no, I was I was gonna say that's the reason I I have uh. I have my PlayStation name as Dude Man Bro, but it's spelled D O O D because of the Prinnies, the Penguins. I, those are my favorite characters because uh, every every sentence ends with Dude. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you when you launch them, they blow up. So I was like, I was like, that is the worst oh, thing to ever. Oh. Yeah. Okay. No, so it makes sense. All right. So little sidetrack. Um, mm -hmm. there's a mod for Left 4 Dead 2 where the mm -hmm. pipe bomb is a Prinny. That's why I love it. He <laughs> says, dude. <laughs> uh, man. All right. So uh, they have two more videos that they had announced. Uh, Elden Ring finally has been revealed. Uh, and it actually looks really good. Uh, so I've always loved like the en en bleh, enemy designs of the Dark Souls games because they always looked really scary and threatening. Like they looked really cool and unique. Um, so this trailer that they release has gameplay footage in it along with a little bit of a, a story to it so it looks like it's open world hopefully and you have a mount which seems like you could attack while you're on it uh, one of the biggest things that stood out was the voice acting as if there was actually actual dialogue in the story which i'm hoping is the case and not another game where you just have to read and find the lore just like any dark souls and uh, bloodborne game so mm -hmm. Did you guys get to watch the video? What are your thoughts on that stuff? Like, because we talked about Dark Souls before, and we said how you know repetitive and boring it is. Does this interest you at all? Okay. Uh, uh, I, 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 Kevin Randy, first. When, Kevin. Go. Okay. Hi, I'm Kevin. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, the it, okay. So I just want to ask: Is it made from some from soft? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It is a from. Okay. Oh, okay. Because I didn't. And George R. R. Martin. Ooh, yes. Okay. So it has that very dark, gritty, you know, Dark Souls feel to it. So I like immediately fell in love once I saw it. And then I saw the horse. And I was like, oh, it's Dark Souls with a horse. Yes. <laughs> I can finally run away. It's breath of the Souls. <laughs> I can finally <laughs> run away. <laughs> I can run and prove my point um, that you're not going to catch me. But it looks so, so fucking good. I'm. I like I don't I don't gas them over games often, but that game really was like I was like that's why I want a P5. I know it's for the P4, but I was like mm -hmm. that's why I want a P5 now. Like that's a game I could I'll drop money on it just to get it. It looks amazing. The combat looks fast as hell for yeah. uh I like a and um it's very like uh it's like it's it's so like it's so in, it feels so engaging. You know what I mean? Like when the enemy attacks you, you can dodge, and then they do like a follow up attack. I was like ah. Stop giving me so much to stop giving me so much to look at. Um, the travel system looks amazing. Uh, when they like jumped off the uh, when they jumped off the little uh, spell that they had and they flew up, I was up like, the mountain, no, yeah, it. yeah. I was like, that's fucking good. I like this. Ten out of ten. Uh, trailer, 
Uh, okay. I'm definitely gonna come. I'm gonna so, play the game. So this is a definitely a system seller this seller is, for you. This is de- yeah, it's definitely sold me on it. Demon okay. Souls not so much because I didn't grow up on it, but Elden yeah. Ring, yeah, they got me. Uh, and Randy, um, it it looks a lot like Dark Souls too. Yeah. Also, first off, Kevin, that's, you just that's all you got. That, like ten minutes ago, why is that done? That's a Schmirnoff. <laughs> well, oh, Ran- sure. So, Randy, that's all you got. You're not impressed by it or anything. You just you, it, it didn't really do anything for you. And on, and on that, I, I mean, I'm okay. Another drink. Here's the thing with uh with the whole Dark Souls series. Like, again, it it did get very repetitive, and yeah. this one looking exactly like fucking two, especially with the hooded woman. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I don't care if you have George R. R. Martin stapled on their fucking on your game. As of right now, my expectations are very low, if not set to like the normal Dark Souls standards, where it's like, oh, this game is going to be hard, and it's a bunch of dudes in armor swinging swords, big fucking deal. Mm-hmm. What did impress me though was the creativity with some of the bosses that like that you saw, mm-hmm. especially the fucking lightning dragon. Yeah. Fucking Zeus with wings over there. I was like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> that looks like fun. But aside from, um, I don't know, I, I'm hoping that they actually, like, change up a lot of things. Because, what is it, even, like, the hype of the Demon Souls remake, it lasted for a week, and nobody talked about it ever again. Yep. Well, because it's just the hype of a new PS5 game, I think, for the most part. It's not even that it was Demon Souls. I mean, but people were excited it was Demon Souls, the because the problem, the problem with Demon Souls... I can tell you there, there's a couple of reasons people were hype about the game, and it wasn't because of the actual game. It was, number one, it was a PS5 game. Number two, Demon Souls, uh, uh, um, I can't remember who it was by, but they lost the rights to that game. I, I believe it's from, from, from Software. But they lost the rights to that game, and they couldn't remake it. They had troubles trying to remake it because they wanted to. So when it was finally announced that they were, it was remaking it by a different developer... Uh, because someone finally got a hold of the rights, people were excited that they finally got the rights to it. And now we can remake it. So that was like a big like news, a big new, a big deal like in in, in the news uh, uh, spectrum. Well, I don't know what the fuck you call, call it, but um, that was pretty much it. Like once the game came out, I could understand completely why people were hyped about playing it because it's a new PS5 game, and then it just died down yeah. and disappeared. Mm. Uh, Danny, what about you with the Elden Ring game? I halfway agree with, with Mr. R. I think that... Say, say it. Wait, hold on. Before you continue, say my name. Go ahead. Randall? No. <laughs> Fucking Christ. <laughs> say my name, This, this, this Randall, is why okay. I do No, because... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Mr. R, you with the R. Randall. No, Randy. It's not that hard. <laughs> Danny, just... Side, yeah. <laughs> Mr. So, but... What he Go was ahead. saying, Mr. R was saying, is that like <laughs> it looks exactly okay, like good. all the rest of the, the Dark Souls games. I agree 100%. Like, that's the first thing that popped in my head was I don't know much about I didn't know much about it. He, Danny just had watched the trailer. So I popped it up and I'm like, oh, it's Dark Souls 2. What is this? And it's because it's not just the, the character models, it's the, the scenery model, the background, the to keep the cathedral looking exactly like every fucking cathedral in Dark Souls looked exactly 100 percent the same so mm-hmm. that was disappointing and i'm like eh, whatever mm-hmm. but as i started to watch the game i think and i'm not sure but i think because they are making it a little more open-ended i don't think it's going to be as hard as the dark soul series i think it's going to be on uh the force on um, what's the last force game force awakens force unleashed no, no not force unleashed uh, uh, no uh, um, it was force awakens Fall in order. Fall in order. order. Fall in order. Fall in order. Yes. Okay. I think it's going to be on that level of hard, where there are it's a lot. Of, it is challenging. Let me wrong. You die. You start over. Whatever. But I don't think it's going to. You're going to be able to take hits a little more because they show tons of. They show like four or five people, five or six people, and once fight fighting you. And in the Dark Souls game, for one hit you die. So there's yeah. no way they're going to just constantly swarm you. That's just not even fair for a Dark Souls game. Because they're like the constantly swarming you. I mean, you should be able to take more of a hit. That means it'd probably be more on the level of the way the Force uh, Fallen Order game is, I think. And it might be their way of trying to introduce more of a story because part of those games, it's not 100% about the story. It's about the challenge. That's what makes Dark Souls so 
so great. A lot of people yeah. like Dark Souls, but it also made it stale at the same time because it was like, all right, I get it. I'm going to die a lot, but that's part of me learning. You know, I'm going to die and learn and learn how to fight that and then keep going. But you can't really tell a story like that because mm-hmm. if you know how to play those, if you know how to play the Dark Souls, you know how to dodge every boss and do everything, the game's a fucking short, really short, extremely short. So mm-hmm. I think with using George R. R. Martin and having an actual script and have wanting to actually tell a story, you're going to have to make it more of an action-based type game in a different style. Similar yeah. to that, you know. So that's, that's my good. theory. That's what that's I think. Point. And if they do that, I think that would be more fun. Because, again, we're all kind of bored of, we got it. We, we played the game. It's fucking hard. We got it. We did Dark Souls. We don't want that. We want something new, and I think this will be new. So if you give us that world and you give us all those characters, but you want to tell a story of why we're fighting these fucking guys, I think that'd be more fun. Yeah, 